This video is about choice. Times are changing. Not too many years ago, persons with developmental disabilities had very few choices. For many, their only choice of a place to live was a large state institution. As the director of the Department of Developmental Services, I've seen attitudes and barriers to new living arrangements change over time. The people you're going to see on this video all used to live in large state institutions. Now, thanks to a new program called Community Supported Living, they're all living in their own homes or apartments. And do they like it? You bet. Let's take a look. Being in a state, a state hospital, there were some good points about it and, and some bad points. I learned a lot, you know, about taking care of myself from there, you know. When I was younger, I used to, I, I used to, uh, uh, wonder why I was there, you know, and, uh, uh my, and and I wanted very much to get out of there. To make a long story short, I was talking to a good friend of mine, who convinced me that it would be it would be better, I'd be a whole lot happier off. You know, uh, you know, being on my own. And uh, so I said, well, okay. Uh, and so here I am. And uh, so uh, we uh, we moved. I moved he in here in this apartment uh, July fifteenth, nineteen ninety one, and it'll be two years tomorrow. Which which I've been living living on my, on my own. So uh, anyway. Uh, I've had, and it's been, and it's been, I've had a lot of success. I'm really hoping in the next 10 years that everyone is looking at supported living, community supportive living arrangements, and seeing that this is just someone like all of us, we're just people out there trying to make it out there, and that we're going to find the support systems that we need. Having the freedom to come and go as you want. Um, I like what's that. that like? I, like, I, like that. I like that because we can go out. And do what we want to. We're on our own now. Yes. We don't have to let staff know where we're going. Yeah. Just so we have the emergency pager number with us and all and that. For so many years I've lived a a casa for a long time. And I like to move out independent living. And over here, I do more stuff for myself now. And I got a long ways from living here with a roommate for two years already. And I've come a long ways. When I first came here, I had to have help. But now I do everything myself. So one of the glories, I think, about this program is these people are really in their own homes. And so every decision they make is about um, their own home. I've seen people just take so much pride in, in cleaning up their own place because the first time they finally got their own kitchen, um, their own living room, and they're so much eager to take care of these tasks because there's so much pride that goes along with it. They're not cleaning someone else's house. They're not buying someone else's groceries. This is all for them and their own home and it's so much more rewarding for them. I'm one of these people who really believes anybody can succeed with with the life they choose, as long as they receive the right amount of support. And some people need a lot. I mean, they need a huge network. And some people need a little. But I think with the right amount of support, many things are possible. Well, actually, I had a very normal life for a handicapped child. I was not put in a lot of institutions until my parents died i lived at home so 
No, I was not. I, and I was not a sheltered kid. You know how most kids' parents sheltered him from the exposure of the true world. And I think that's why I'm as independent as I feel I, as I feel I am today because my parents did not ex try and tell me what to do or run my life from the time I was really 15 on, from 15 on, which also made the relationship that much better between my parents and me, um, as we were as we were growing up, in later years, they would give me advice. But once I once I hit 21, I was basically anything I wanted to do. They really didn't question, which I find in a lot. And a lot of my handicapped friends, they still get questioned. They still don't have the freedom that I feel I had growing up as a child. Overall, if I had to do it over, I would probably still do some kind of independent living thing. What do you know, my big day hobbies? What? Parties. Parties are your hobbies? What kind and of parties? And dancing too. You like yeah, I'm going to the Blue Society dance. We're going to be going this Saturday. Yeah.